For the Daily Radio News on 94.3 WKUF, I'm David Jackson for Monday, June 6, 2016. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sent a letter to Mayor Karen Weaver that they have concerns about the city's chlorine levels. Amanda Embry of the Flint Journal reports that with the upcoming warm summer months, the EPA is concerned that the Flint's capacity to distribute chlorine throughout the entire system is inadequate. The letter instructs the city and the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality to expedite plans and installation of a chemical feed plant by June 10th. Mayor Weaver says that her office has been in contact with the state on this issue, and without rushing in and risking any mistakes, the city of Flint is working to address the situation. The letter from the EPA continues by saying that it is encouraging that the water quality sampling has shown appropriate chlorine levels at the test sites. However, chlorine decays quicker in the summer months, and the distribution system in place may not have the ability to reach the entire water network. As a temporary measure, the city has installed automated flushers on hydrants in areas of concern in order to more efficiently treat the entire water system. The Facebook Messenger app is under fire over allegations that it is always listening. In several articles, including from The Independent in the UK, allegations have arisen accusing the Messenger app of turning the microphone on without warning and listening for keywords in order to customize a user's advertisements. On a Facebook support page, the social media company explicitly says that they do not record people's conversations. However, if users choose to turn on song identification, the app has the ability to identify what song or TV show is on, making suggestions based on what is gathered, and apparently only works if the user explicitly explicitly activates the feature. An experiment by WFLA noted, however, that simply by mentioning something in a conversation affects what is displayed on a user's home screen. University of South Florida professor Kelly Burns showed reporters an example of what that entails. In a conversation with reporters, the professor mentioned that she would one day like to go on a safari and drive in a Jeep. Less than 60 seconds later, the report showed that an ad for Jeep popped up and a safari story showed up in her news feed. WFLA report reiterated that this feature is only available when song identification is active. However, the Independent noted that many features in Facebook's Messenger app are turned on by default, and in order to even download the app, users have to agree to give wide-ranging access to the Facebook Messenger app. According to Carrie Jackson of Davidson, Michigan, among others, users who access their Facebook accounts via a phone's browser have noticed a recent push to download the Messenger app, along with a notice that accessing direct messaging conversations will soon only be available after installing the company's mobile phone application. In sports, the Detroit Tigers swept the White Sox over the weekend in the first three games of a six-game homestand. Last Friday, the Tigers' bats lit up Chicago for 14 hits and 10 runs on their way to a 10-3 victory. Saturday afternoon, wearing 1920s-era Negro League Detroit Stars uniforms, Mike Pelfrey chalked up his first win as Victor Martinez drove in three runs in Detroit's 7-4 win. On Sunday, Justin Verlander held the Chicago Southsiders to just two solo home runs, and Tigers' bats put up four runs in the fifth to beat Chicago 5-2. Winning four of their last five games brings Detroit to within a half a game of third-place White Sox and only three and a half of Cleveland, who sits on top of the AEL Central. The Tigers play against the Blue Jays tonight in Comerica Park at 7-10. In the NBA Finals, only three of the Cleveland Cavaliers put up double-digit points, while Draymond Green of the Golden State Warriors put up 28 points and went 5-for-8 from three-point land in the Warriors' 110-77 win against Cleveland. Game 3 of the NBA Finals is in Cleveland this Wednesday at 9. Golden State leads the series two games to none. And Saturday, in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup playoffs, San Jose rookie Jonas Donskoy scored the game winner at 12-18 into overtime. After the Pittsburgh Penguins won the first two games of the Stanley Cup, the San Jose Sharks look to even up the series at two games apiece in Game 4 tonight at 8 p.m. And finally... The U.S. Navy halted all off-base liberty and banned all drinking for over 18,000 sailors stationed in Okinawa due to a single sailor being arrested for drunken driving. Rear Admiral Matthew Carter said in a press release this morning that the ban will continue until all personnel understand the impact that their responsible behavior has on the U.S.-Japan alliance and on the people of Okinawa. For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.